I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor certification. Today, we are going to be taking a look at one of the exercises that is in our basic level course, section one, lesson eight, um, which is all about the chart of accounts. This is one of four exercises currently in this lesson. And um, the first one, which is how to add an account to the chart of accounts, is a critical lesson. You have to you have to be able to know how to do that. So if you haven't done that exercise, make sure that you do it. Um, the one that we're going to be talking about today is an optional exercise just for your edification, um, and that is about merging accounts. You do have to know about merging accounts, but it's less important that you actually do it physically yourself. So, um, but for the purposes of today, we're going to go ahead and go walk through this exercise. So let's take a look first at our scenario. So, oops, my picture is covering it up there. Let me get rid of that. All right. So our scenario is you are doing some cleanup work for Craig and notice that he has both an accounting and a bookkeeper account that are the same account type and could be merged to save space. You've decided to combine these accounts into one account called accounting and bookkeeping. What steps do you need to take? All right, so the first, oops. So the first thing that we need to do is log into our sample company. So let's go ahead and hop over there. Um, from there, you need to enter the chart of accounts. Now, you, according to my instructions, you can go on the left navigation bar and select accounting. I'm going to show you another way to enter the, the chart of accounts. You do that by clicking the gear icon here and then selecting chart of accounts right here. So that's going to take me into my chart of accounts. If this is the first time, you're going to see this little message and you can click see your chart of accounts. Uh, just click that to get into the actual chart of accounts. Okay. So from here, you're going to scroll down and, um, and, or use the search bar to find the bookkeeper account. I'm going to go ahead and just use the, uh, search bar. Once I find it, you'll see that it pops up right there. And once I'm here, I'm going to go across here. I'm going to click the drop down arrow and select edit. Okay. Our next step is to change the name of the account from bookkeeper to accounting. Okay. So this is how you merge accounts as you always, no matter what you're merging, you're always changing the thing you don't want to the thing that you do want. So in our case, we're changing the name to accounting. If this were a more complicated name, then you would definitely want to copy it from the, the one you're keeping and then paste it in here. Accounting is pretty easy to type, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm going to click Save and Close, which you can't see because I've covered it up. Um, but then you're going to be prompted. You're going to say, hey, that name already exists. Um, do you want to merge the two? And then you're just going to say yes. All right, now... Um, you'll notice that um, it says now there are no accounts that match the criteria. That's because I searched, um, I used the search bar. So um, all I have to do is uh, take that out. If I just delete that, then it's going to give me, um, give me all of my accounts back. Now, what I've done just now is I have merged my two accounts. I have merged bookkeeping into accounting, but remember our exercise is to rename the account to accounting and bookkeeping. So now what we have to do is we have to um, try, we're gonna have to find that account. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna use the search bar again. Here is accounting and I'm going to click the edit screen right there. And my next step is to change the name to accounting and bookkeeping. 
All right, if you've gotten a little lost, then now is a good time for me to tell you that you can get a copy of this exercise as well as find out more about our courses in the description below. And um, so then you have a chance to actually look at it, actually do it yourself. So I'm just going to click save and close. Now, before we head, before I let you go, there is one more thing that I need to tell you. And that is, let me get rid of my picture and all this other stuff because <laughs> this is super important. Um, this exercise is for demonstration purposes only. Accounting and bookkeeping do not necessarily need to be the same account. It just depends on what the business owner wants or needs to see in their report. And don't ask me why reports is all by itself and not highlighted in yellow. But that's really important. I don't want you to do this exercise and then think that um, all bookkeeping and accounting should all be one. Please don't do that. <laughs> you need to always talk to your business owner about uh, what they want, what makes sense for their business. That was just for demonstration purposes only. All right. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give us a like. If you would like to be notified every time we post another video, subscribe to our channel and click the little notification bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this lesson, then just put it in the comments below and I will get back to you right away. All right, that's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one.